is Monday again. We did it again. Good morning. Good morning. It is it is a gas to be here. Uh, this is another episode of We'll Talk with Devin Will. Uh, we hope that you had a um, a restful and restorative weekend. Um, we had sort of a mixed bag. Friday was like, eh. And Saturday, and Saturday was like, well, yesterday was like, yeah. We got to have, have a mixed bag. We yeah. Yeah. It was a sad weekend and a fun weekend, so. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, f Friday we were at uh, Awake um, for a, um, a, a a friend of ours who passed away who was a, a dynamo in, in the Tampa Bay community. Um, and that was kind of sad. and because um, it was suddenly. But. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was, and, and she was young. So that makes it doubly that makes it doubly sad um, when it's somebody who isn't. You know, it, it's sad when an 84 year old passes away, but they're 84. They lived a life. You know, but when they're you know what, but when they're younger than that, uh, and it happens suddenly, it's kind of sad. So uh, we we experienced that on Friday and yesterday between services though. No, was it Saturday? When did we go? Go where? To lunch. That was yesterday. Yesterday. When, yesterday we went to lunch with um, Deborah's cousins. Shout out to first cousins. <laughs> <laughs> the people you are most likely to go to jail with. Uh, or, for, or four. <laughs> you get in trouble with your first cousins and we, we, we all are pretty tight so that was nice seeing, seeing them. One of mine came in. She's from out North, of town. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So so that was that was nice. We, had, we went over to um, Long John's and uh, not no. What was it? Who was it? Not Long John. Longhorn. Longhorn. Long John's is something else entirely. We'll not it? eat at Long John's. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't. We didn't eat bad fried food. Uh, <laughs> so we had a good. We had a good time. And Deborah and I walked by. Walked through the horrifically overpriced container store. Uh, oh look! This is a plastic That's box. Nice stuff Several in there. thousand dollars was ridiculous. <laughs> it, it, it was. It was. It was insane. Uh, so it was, it was kind of a mixed bag weekend, but we're glad to be here and start start again. Another another great weekend store great weekend. for us and for you. Uh, so we're uh, today, like it says in the show notes, we're going to explore three common obstacles, uh, three common obstacles to a healthy marriage. Now these have changed over time uh, because of how we live and 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 what happens socially. Uh, and what's accepted socially and what's not accepted socially anymore. Well, these have changed, so we're going. So this is by no way, like it says in the show notes, this is no way an, ex, an, an ex, a, you know an exhaustive list uh, of things you have to worry about. So if you get these three, the three things down, you're gonna be married You'll forever. You'll be married for thirty years or more. No. <laughs> uh, Hello, Kathy. So you got a cousin, cousin Kathy. Got another cousin. In Buffalo. Cousins. <laughs> Cousins everywhere. <laughs> I have a large family. I have cousins. <laughs> Cause they're cousins. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Had a Patty Duke um, thing. All right. Um, so we're going to talk about the the first one is how people mistake or confuse romantic love with marriage love because there's a difference. There's a difference. Yes, was it? Is, was it when was it? it was yesterday or Saturday? I, 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 my weekends are mixed up. My weekends are all my, my, my weekend is like. Um, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday. What What are you talking? On about? the way back from from lunch. Oh yes, it was a one on the way back from lunch. We were driving downtown, and we saw this couple, and they looked to be in their early twenties. And, and they were walking all hand, first arm in arm, you know, all, um, and then, then they started holding hand in hand and almost like skipping. They were frolicking. They were frolicking <laughs> down the street to the conference center and it was, it was so sweet. It was sweet. It was, it was, it was they funny. They looked so cute. They looked so in love. And, and the, which we, we, we still hold hands. Well, yeah. But well, we don't skip. Yeah. But, uh, uh, <laughs> can't get me. Won't, won't get you to skip it. But they were, uh, they were like this far off the ground. They were like that far off the ground, uh, and, and 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 it was and it was wonderful. I don't know who these people were, but I but, you know I wish them the best. Um, but that's a romantic love, and 
the romantic love is awesome, and, but it's not necessarily a marriage love. A married love is something, is something else entirely. A married, a married love is what we talk about all the time. A married love has to do with commitment. You know, what happens when your partner can't skip or frolic downtown anymore? What happens when life comes in um, like a flood and you just don't feel like frolicking anymore? Uh, I mean, is that the end of your love? Is that the end of the relationship? Is that the end? Um, so I, I think a lot of people in our culture think that what we saw is how it how it is all the time, and how and, and that's the model of a how marriage. it should be all yeah. the time. So when it's not like that, then they're like, ah, oh, I guess we're we're grown apart. Marriage is not a Hallmark movie. No, it, it isn't. Even the good ones, <laughs> even the good ones, even the marriages that that are strong and stable, and and been together a long time. You know, you you're not gonna be happy every day. You're not, and you're not going to feel like holding hands and frolicking downtown on the way to the museum every day. That's just not, it's just not how it works. And I think that, that, that media and, and society paints this picture of that's how it ought to be. And if it isn't like that all the time, then maybe you picked the wrong person, or, or maybe they're doing something wrong, or maybe you are doing something wrong. Maybe you should lose weight. Maybe you should color your hair. Maybe you should get lip implants. Maybe you should get booty implants. A tummy tuck. A tummy tuck. A breast lift. Yeah, just look at the, the, the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine. All the stuff, you know, and this is a side note, excuse me, rabbit trail, that it's interesting that Cosmopolitan is, is supposed to be a women's magazine, but all it really does is tell women how, uh, how they're not enough. If you need to cover, they're not good enough. They're not, they're not enough. Do all these things to make your man happy. The hell. Don't read Cosmo. Don't. Don't, don't even read the cover. When you go to the grocery store, just turn it over on the back. Just turn it over so you don't see the cover. But um, I, I think that that's what that's what modern society does to women, especially. Um, and they have this this thing that you you know, this, that you can stay in this romantic love, and that's the ideal. But it becomes an obstacle because it's not possible. It's not. It's just not possible all the time. It's 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 something that that's unachievable all yes, the time. To, be. Um, to have that sort of and, and again, this couple was so cute. They were just skipping and frolicking and just they were teasing and and, and tickling each, each other, other. <laughs> having a fabulous time. It was adorable. And it was just them. Nobody else was around really. Um. It was, you know, and, and it was cool, but it's not going to be like that all the time. And I think that that's problematical um, when people don't get the real story of, of, of how that has to mature into something, that, that, that will mature into something else. Um, In the process of you being together throughout the years, it, it changes. You know, you, we still have romantic times. I'm not saying romance is gone. Romance is dead after a year and a half. It's not. No. You still have romantic times and... and the passion and all of that stays in there, but it on a daily basis. You don't get to skip and frolic. Cause somebody got to go to work. <laughs> yeah, you got to go to work. You got to go buy groceries. You got to clean house. You got to clean poopy diapers. Yeah, nothing frolicking about frolicking through a um, a pamper full of um, green poop. <laughs> How can something so cute smell so bad? <laughs> yeah. That'll stop the frolicking. You go, oh my God! Yeah. So, so, so again, the confusion of romantic love versus married love. Um, people need to understand that and understand that that should not be an obstacle. But very often in our culture, unfortunately, it is. All right. Um, this, the second one I want to talk about is the failure of of self sacrifice. Um, and we have and we've touched on on this in a number of other uh, videos about. How important it is to um, that you have to that you know the most important thing is the sacrifice and and the sacrifice some some of the things that you want necessarily for the for the relationship. I think I talked about this in in, in, our, in our very first video, which happened over five months ago. Did you know? No, I didn't. We started in February. Mm -hmm. It is August, and you thought we'd stop by now. <laughs> ah, <laughs> old Joe, didn't we? Uh, but you know what, and, and the idea is that that self-sacrifice, what, what is worth the relationship? 
is you going to play basketball with your friends more important than a relationship? Or should you go to the container store? <laughs> My advice is take your ass to, to, to the container store. Go. And pick stuff up and look at it. <laughs> Pretend. And if buy you have to, something for her. Yeah. <laughs> Except the $139 grand trash can up we saw at the dollar store. At the container store. $139 trash can. What the hell is that? It will last. It was like two feet high. You couldn't even you could even fit thirty dollars worth of trash in it. It was <laughs> stupid. It was ridiculous. But you know what? It was soft clothes though. It didn't slam it down. It was like boo. Don't like it. IKEA, all those soft clothes in drawers. But you know what? What are you willing to sacrifice? What's worth how much is the relationship worth it to you? And I think that, we, that in our culture we don't do that because of the same reason. Because society and culture says, uh, this is what your... What about you? What about you? This is your turn. This is your turn. Yeah, do this is my life. life. This is your life. Live your best life. Even that, even that phrase, live your best, best life. life. But are you including your spouse in that life? The... Uh, when I when I quote that and I say that it doesn't just mean me it it means your entire family your couple you you coupling together you become one so the act of being um, selfish has to go out the door I mean there are times when you have to take care of yourself and look into yourself but when you get married it it's not all about you anymore. Hmm? not all about you. <laughs> That's tough when you're only when you're a, 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 an only kid when it's just always been about you. Uh, and that's just, and that's something that you have to really understand. You have to really get that it's not about you anymore. Uh, which is why married men tend to live longer than single men. They tend to get, they, because they don't participate in more and as dangerous of activities, yeah. uh, they don't take as many chances because they know that other people are depending on them to be there. So because it's not just about them anymore, it's about it's about their spouses, it's about their kids. They are more apt to go to the doctors when they're married because they have somebody who's nudging them. You need mm -hmm. to go to the doctor. You need to go to the doctor. And when single men, you know, ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. I just took a crap. I feel better. I feel good. I feel good now. <laughs> Donk. Yeah. So, um, so the idea is that that it's not that really isn't about you, just you anymore. It's about it, it, it's it's about your first community and your first and your first community is the people who live in your household, the people that you know, the woman that you're married to, your children. That's your first community. So you end up being responsible for and responsible to what I'm calling your first community. Uh, and 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 understand and and understanding that and that's tough sometimes for people to get. Yeah. And we and you see that all the time. You see that all the time, and we talked about this in, in you know what in prior videos that people go, well, I'm just not happy. Well, okay. Sometimes you're not gonna be happy. Gonna be happy all the time. If you don't get to frolic. And that's where frolic. you you know if you are a Christian and you have a relationship with Christ, that's where you, you that your happiness comes from. You have to, to focus on, you know, your relationship with Christ in order to, 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 to become happy again. Because the, this man right here, or this woman right here, can't make you happy. I mean, they can, but it's not a, a happiness that you're going to be feeling la 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 all I can the time. I can tickle you. Yeah, that won't make me happy. I tickle you right now won't make you happy? No. Really? <laughs> It don't make me happy though. But <laughs> yeah, that makes you happy. I'll be you happy though. Me. You know I don't like to be tickled. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, but I think it's hysterical. So it makes me happy. Gets my endorphins going. Woo! Okay, so I won't. No. I don't ever get to do anything. <laughs> it's not about you. <laughs> I don't get to do anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, you see? You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, all right. Now the third point is uh, the importance, and this is, this may be a little scholarly, so you got to hang in there with me for a little bit, um, that marriage 
is a vocation. And a vocation is a calling. Um, which means that not everybody is suited for it. A calling is like a calling to the ministry, a calling to the priesthood. Um, I think that, that, that people who go into law enforcement, it's a calling. And, and it's a calling because of, not because it's difficult, not just because it's difficult, it's because of all the things that you have to be and that are attached. Um, the the, the, the self-sacrifice that's attached, um, the willingness to learn that's attached, and the willingness to serve that's attached to any vocation. Yes. And to continue to learn. And to continue to learn and to continue to serve and to continue to give. That's what people who are involved in vocations like, again, the ministry or law enforcement or the military um, do. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a lot like that. And especially good marriages are a lot like that. Um, so. I'm really at the, at the point, well, maybe it, it's really not for everybody necessarily. No, it, marriage is not. It's not for wimps. It's not for people who think that they can just sort of get into it like a job that you can work for a while and if things work out, then you'll stay. And if it don't work out, you'll get another job. And that's how people treat marriages. Yeah. They treat them like a job. Uh, they get they got a job. They and, and they're happy with it. And they interview. It and getting the dating is the interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, they get the job, and you get to have so the ceremony. Exciting. Yay! And then, and like every job you've ever had, it gets hard at some point, and you don't want to go. You don't want to get up in the morning. <laughs> you don't want to get up in the morning and go there, and you can't wait to go home. To, and you get tired of the people that you're working with. It's like, I gotta see your face again. Oh, gosh. Oh. It's marriage. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes so it's, like it's so it's so it's so marriage is a lot more like a vocation than uh, a job like the like the like the minister who hears the same complaint from from his you know what his, his, his people in the church congregation every time all the time and they do it for years and nothing changes they do it for years but they have that heart of service they have that heart of self sacrifice they have all those things. That make it a vocation and not a job. Not a nine to five, punch the clock, at five o'clock I'm out of here, don't talk to me, I don't care. And people treat me that people treat that their marriage is like that and that's why they don't and that's why they don't work. So, uh, so we have to now understand that that's not how marriage works. And that's an obstacle to having a healthy marriage, sort of treating it like a job. Un not understanding that it's a vocation. And people don't understand this early enough in the process. Um, that when they get into it, because no one's told them, and they don't have any understanding of that, then they have, then they, then their expectations aren't met. And I talk about this all the time, and almost in everything I talk about is that we have problems in, li in, in life because of expectations that aren't met. Because we never talk about expectations in, in the beginning. In the beginning. We never, never, we never know what... what you expect from it from that other person. They have no idea. So they're going along doing things that oh, they no, think no. is what like, you want. Like tickling your spouse because she laughed. And and you... <laughs> she doesn't really want you to do it. And, but, and, but you laughed! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. But you keep laughing! <laughs> and, and and you think that you're you're making them happy or you're fulfilling them, you're just them and off. stuff and you just keep <laughs> making them angry and angry them off, and and one day they just go I can't take it anymore and then people are blindsided and men men especially duh men what especially do you mean? what all this stuff look at the house and we got the pool and the car and the vacation and these home cute kids. and these cute, cute kids that we ordered from Central Castle. Look at these children and everything's beautiful and you got, the, you got your dream kitchen with all the damn white cabinets that everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> Stainless steel furniture, like a like a restaurant appliances, appliances and, and like and, and white cabinets like everybody has. Jeez, I hate that. Anyway, um, and and then people go, I'm not happy. This is not what I thought. And you hear all the time, this is not what I thought it would be. What the hell did you think it would, did you mm -hmm. think it would be? And I think that, that, that people have such a, a misunderstanding. And I think the thir third point is why. People have a misunderstanding of what it's going to be. They think it's going to be number one. They think it's going to be the romantic, frolicking love all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's their expectation. 
Well, it's not going to be that all the time. It's just not going to be that all the time. And I think that these things become an obstacle for you. Uh, an obstacle for people to have healthy marriages long term. And I think, you know what, I'm, I, and, 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 I'm, and I haven't talked about, about this, but I think that, uh, no, don't, don't freak out. It's, 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 it's good. I think it's good. I think it's good. I think I'm going to get a lot of Brian points with all your cousins. All your cousins that are watching. Um, but I think doing, for, for you and I doing this, and talking about these subjects for everybody else, sort of in public. We decided to talk about these things in public. Yeah. Um, and not that we're going to talk about all of our personal life in public, because frankly, it ain't in your damn business. Um, but, <laughs> what? What? but we're exposing a large amount of our lives. Yeah, you know, and, and the idea is that just talking about these things, and, and you know what, here in public, has helped us understand and, and, and refocus so we can move on too. Uh, just, just, just because the subject got brought up. Yes. It's like, you know, the pastor says in the church, you know, uh, half the time he's talking to himself too. Mm -hmm. You know, just because a lot of these things that we're discussing, like I always say, we're not perfect, but God brings some things up in us to discuss because He wants us to work on to get better too our relationship. And that's the thing. And that's the whole part of this is working together to to help improve relationships. The whole thing is about improving relationships, and I think it's helping me improve my relationships and at work. I mean, a lot of things that has happened between me and co-workers and different things, I've gone back and, you know, apologized, I've done things and said, you know, you, you, you're you not perfect. So, I don't want people to sit here and think that, oh, they've been married 30 years, they think they know everything and blah, blah, blah. No, the, the purpose of this is for change, for all of us to learn. And that's the point. And the point is that we're not perfect. The point is that we do, and, that, and that's the and that's the major point. The point is that we don't know everything. That's the point. That's the whole point that we don't know everything, and that it's and it's okay to talk about the things you don't know about. Um, it's okay to, to explore them in your relationships uh, because nobody know, nobody knows everything. Nobody knows everything. Nobody knows everything. You it's a trial and error type thing. And once you, you learn some things, I think that it's important for you to help other people learn. And, and pull them up, you know, come up here with me. Let me show you what I learned. So uh, take, take time to share this video and share things with people. You know, you may have a perfect marriage or a perfect relationship, a perfect work life. But, you know, your, the other person sitting next to you or your, your spouse may need to, to hear some of this. Yeah, and the idea is that there are people that you can help simply because... We're, we all head down the same road, and, and, and some of these things we all go through, and for some of us, we get through, and then for some of us, it destroys us. Mm -hmm. So if you can help somebody avoid something that you had to get through, you know what I'm saying? Something that you had to get through, if you can have, help someone else avoid it, that's a good, that's a good thing. Yes. That's a good thing. Because, you know what, some things, yeah, some things you have to go through for sure. Um, some adjustment things you have to go through. But if you can help others get through it better than you did, necessarily, you know, especially better than you did. If you could be honest and say, you know, I could have done that better. Uh, I know that now because now I'm looking at it, you know. From a different side. From, a diff from the other side of it. I, mm -hmm. I could have done this better. I could have said that better. Um, I, I think that we owe that to other people. I think we owe that to other people, so that's what that's what that, that, that's what this, this 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 whole thing is all about. Um, so if you can help other folks get better, you should, and that's all we're doing this for. If we can help other folks get better, you know what? If none of the things that we talk about concern you, then good on you. Yeah. Great. Rock on. Do you, go do you. But you may know someone who is struggling, who may need help or need something, and and it's our charge to help other people. Yeah, we are we are charged. You're not in this world just for, for you. You're in this world for a purpose, a reason. And you have to, to help other people. And this all seems so hard sharing a video, huh? <laughs> it, it, ain't, it ain't like it costs you no money, right? Or even, or, or any time even. So what what, so we, what we'd like you to do is we'd like you to, to go to our YouTube channel. Um, the YouTube channel is in the um, 
in the description there, um, the show description, and or the website, and you can sign up to the website and go to the YouTube channel from there, and like and subscribe and share with your friends, because um, we all know somebody who's going through something, right? And if you want to to email us or 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 you know, the email the email address is on the website. Yes. Um, so you can email we'll us and talk to you and comment in the comments here. I see Kathy married 33 years. And yes, you are correct, Kathy. It is uh, important to have interests of your own, to be your own person separate and have um, time to hobbies and things that you can do to get away from each other sometimes. <laughs> I think that's what saves us with uh, work because you have the weekend to get away from those people. <laughs> You know, <laughs> so you can still like them. So you, so Monday morning when you come in, you're like, oh, oh hi, how was your weekend? Blah 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 blah, and then you start the whole process over again. Well, you need that in relation, other relationships too. Sometimes your 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 spouse needs to get away. He, they need to. That's why some uh, the past week, most of the time of my walking in the mornings and evening stuff, I do it on my own. That's my own little thing I like to do is walk and listen to scriptures and music and stuff like that, that that empowers me, it strengthens me. And then I come back and I'm a better person for him. And I like it. <laughs> All right, so we gotta get out of here. It's about time to, it's, 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 it's Is our, it time to go? It's 9.35. It's 9.35. Okay, we started late. Yeah, I know, we started about five minutes late. <laughs> Uh, we like talking y'all, but you know what? And for and for the YouTube fans, uh, we watch a lot of YouTube at our house, and God bless the people who do YouTube. But some of y'all last for hours. Going for like an hour and a half. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I'm at the movies. <laughs> so we sort of aren't gonna. We, we're we're not gonna make it that long, so that people <laughs> people love it. So, so so people can so people can have time to watch Thank it. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. That that's that's very kind. All right, so we're gonna get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness' sake, have some coffee. Have some coffee. <laughs> Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you when we see you. Peace. 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 <laughs> button button. Who's got the button?